Hello boys, hope everyone's well, but this is sad night, and this is a very last video, and uh, I hopefully I see everyone in the hall in so time. Take care. Well hello boys, um, back again for the last time, so we're going to do um, a game that we did before, and uh, I think you enjoyed it, so it's Top Trumps. Um, so the good news is there's going to be no questions about elephant poo this time, uh, but it's the same idea. There's going to be 10 questions and you're going to have two possible answers and you have to decide which one you think is the most likely. And you can take a wee note of it or whatever and then I'll go after, I'll go over the words at the end. So here's our first one. So basically very simple one to start with. Both buildings in London. Which one is the tallest? Is it the London Eye or is it the BT Tower? The London Eye or the BT Tower? Here's number two for those of you who like football. Which ground has the largest capacity? Which means how many people does it hold? Is it the Etihad Stadium, which is Manchester City's ground? Or is it, of course, the, the best stadium in the entire country? Anfield, home of the current league champions, Liverpool. Is it Manchester City or Liverpool? You decide. So this one then is simply the highest population. Which country has got most people living in it? Is it the United Kingdom or is it South Africa? The United Kingdom or South Africa? You decide now. This one um, is quite an interesting one. The largest world record, so what is the number of most? The number of tennis balls that can be held in one hand or the number of hot dogs that can be eaten in one minute. Okay. If you mix those around, it would be even stranger. The number of tennis balls you could eat in a minute. Probably shouldn't try that. Um, so tennis balls in one hand or hot dogs eaten in one minute. Bit of a strange one there. Okay, so this one's the longest duration. That means what lasts longer? Would it be a flight from London to Singapore? Or is it the longest ever tennis match? So a flight from London to Singapore. Singapore is, is in Asia, so it's quite a distance away. Or the longest ever tennis match, professional tennis match. Okay, so this one is which one weighs more? Heaviest weight or heaviest mass, I suppose. Um, is it uh, two AA batteries? And they're the sort of ones you would put in a TV remote. Now, they're not the very thin ones. They're triple A's. The sort of next one's up. So two AA batteries or very fives, very seasonal coming into Easter. A Cadbury's cream egg. Now, if you ask your mum or your daddy, they will tell you that Cadbury's cream eggs used to be bigger and used to weigh more. I used to have nicer chocolate in them, um, more stuff on the inside, but uh, alas, they don't anymore. But at the moment, what's heavier? Two AA batteries or a Cadbury's cream egg? Which is first in the UK? We'd won last time, I think it was McDonald's and KFC. This time, what one arrived first in the UK? Pizza Hut or Domino's? Okay, um, I think they arrived in England before they arrived in Northern Ireland, so... Was Pizza Hut here first or was Domino's here first? Have a wee think now. And at any stage here, feel free to pause as you go along uh, if, you, if you're writing down your answers. So which one here is the most popular in terms of numbers of people who use it each month? Um, or waste time on it each month? Facebook or Instagram? Facebook or Instagram? If you want my advice, stay clear of either of them. And actually, because uh, there's a lot of rubbish on it. But anyway, um, not a big fan of social media myself. But which one is the most popular, Facebook or Instagram? Okay, so here's a sport one for you. Which one of these would you get the highest number of points for in a game? Do you get more points for scoring a try in rugby? Or more points for scoring a touchdown in American football. 
Obviously, if you know these sports, it's very straightforward. So in rugby, do you get more points for a try? Or in American football, do you get more points for a touchdown? Go Seahawks. And here's one, the largest number. So what's the largest number? The number of bones that there is in the body or the number of days in a year. Now you maybe know the number of days in a year, but do you know the number of bones in the body and which one is larger? And I think it's referring to an adult body. Okay, so that's our 12, no it wasn't 12, it was 10 answers, 10 questions. So here is our answers. So let's go over our answers here then. So the first one was which one of these is tallest, the London Eye or the BT Tower? So what one did you think? Well you can see there the London Eye is 135 metres but the BT Tower a lot taller, uh, 189 metres. So BT Tower is the answer to that one. This one, the largest capacity Man City's ground Eddie had or Liverpool's ground Anfield? Um, well. Liverpool actually are planning to extend the ground again. Uh, they extended the stand a couple of years ago, but at the moment, unfortunately, Man City's ground has got a thousand more seats in it. There's 55,000 in the Etihad Stadium to 54,000 at Anfield, but when it gets extended, it will be bigger. It'll be over 60,000. And hopefully there'll be lots of trophies at that stage as well. Highest population then? The United Kingdom or Sudafrica, and the answer for this one, it's the UK, 66.6 .6 million, although that might go up a bit after the census, which has just been done. South Africa, slightly less, 57.7 .7 million. So the UK is the winner in this one. Now this, this is really interesting. I looked at the answers before I did this, and, and I quite can't quite get my head around this. Uh, which ones have got most? Is it tennis balls in one hand or hot dogs eaten in a minute? So I would have thought hot dogs eaten in a minute because you see all those guys sometimes on TV and they can eat, you know, the one every five seconds or something. Now I'm not sure how they did this, but here's the answer. So hot dogs eaten in a minute, 11, so that's like one every five or six seconds. That's fair enough. But someone has managed to hold 27 tennis balls in one hand. Now, I have no idea how they did this. Um, and I might have to go and research this further whenever I finish doing this video because I reckon I could maybe hold three or maybe four in absolute tops and I've got quite big hands. I've got no idea. They must have hands the size of, I don't know, a car or something. But anyway, there you go. So the correct answer is tennis balls in one hand, unless the tennis balls are really tiny, but I don't know. So if you got that, well done. Um, but I'm sure you didn't think 27 was the answer. Okay, longest duration, which one takes longer? London to Singapore or the longest ever tennis match? Well, uh, London to Singapore is the winner there. It takes over just over 13 hours to fly that way. Longest ever tennis match was 11 hours. I think, if my memory serves me right, that happened at Wimbledon a few years ago. Um, because in the last set you have to win by two clear games and it went, usually you only have to win six games, but the last set it went, I think it ended up 70 something games. They changed the rules after that because obviously that was a bit ridiculous. But the winner anyway in this one is the flight from London to Singapore. Heaviest weight then, uh, two batteries, two AA batteries are the cream egg. The winner this time is the batteries. If it was the old cream egg from about 10 years ago, it would definitely have been the cream egg. But unfortunately this time, uh, the batteries are slightly heavier. However, they don't taste as good as uh, the cream egg. Remember, never eat batteries, folks, because you could end up getting charged. That's a dad joke, sorry about that. Okay, then first in the UK, Pizza Hut or Domino's? Um, the answer is actually Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's been here for quite a while. Domino's is reasonably new-ish. 
um, and it certainly hasn't been in Northern Ireland for very long at all, um, probably 10, 15 years maybe, uh, if even that. So Pizza Hut's the winner in that one. Most popular by number of users is Facebook or Instagram. It's still Facebook, it's been going for longer. 2.6 billion people, which is crazy uh, when you think about it. There's about, that's about a th not much under a third of the population of the world is on Facebook. That is incredibly sad. Um, but there you go. I suppose people like to have a wee look and have a wee nosy and see what's going on. So Facebook is the winner for that one. Highest number of points then. So in rugby, if you score a try, a try is worth five points. In American football, if you catch a touchdown, if uh, or you run in with a touchdown, it's six points. So the winner for that one, obviously, is the touchdown, six points. I'm old enough I remember when rugby try used to only be worth four points, but they changed it um, a few years ago, shall we say. And then, what is the largest number? Well, I think we know the days in the year. There's 365, or if it's a leap year, there's 366. The question is, what is the bones in the body? Is it above that or below it? Well, what did you guess? Did you, did you think days in the year? Did you think bones in the body? Yeah, it's days in the year. There's about 206 bones in the body. Now, if you guess bones in the body, I want a technical way to get out of it. When you're born... Babies have got more bones because the way they're born, um, the bones sort of knit together into bigger bones as they get older. So they would have a few more bones than 206. But in terms of the largest number, it's days in the year. Well, boys, that's the uh, 10 uh, done. So hopefully uh, you get some of those right. Uh, it's just a bit of fun anyway. So uh, thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed these games. Uh, over the last uh, number of months and uh, on now to our last story we're doing Bible occupation so it's one it's not really an occupation you want to go for yourself but uh, Sarah's going to tell us all about it okay boys take care and hope to see you all soon bye as you know over the last couple of weeks we have been looking at men in the Bible who had uh, important jobs or what their jobs were and how that affected the overall story of Jesus and his life. Um, all the previous jobs we've looked at, well, most of them have been quite good um, and they've been good men who've had good jobs. And um, well, tonight's not really the same thing. <laughs> Tonight we're looking um, at the thief. Um, he was a thief who stole from people and he clearly was such a bad man and such a horrible thief that he had to be punished in the cruelest way. He was one of the two thieves that were crucified alongside Jesus on the cross. Um, so tonight we're going to be looking a little bit of him and a little bit of the Easter story as we come into the Easter weekend together. So there was three crosses that night. Um, Jesus was in the middle and then there was two thieves on each side of him. Um, they were being crucified on a cross which was seen as the worst punishment um, that they had in that time and it was reserved for the worst criminals in the town. So clearly these two men had done something really serious. Now we don't know much about this man other than he was a thief. We don't know his name. We don't know where he came from. We don't really know anything um, but we know that he um, was a thief and was being uh, killed in such a way that he um, was was put on this cross alongside Jesus. Now this was not a nice way to go. It was a big uh, wooden cross and the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, nailed um, their hands or their wrists into the wood and then nailed their feet into the wood. Um, and a Roman soldier came up as well and nailed some words above Jesus's head, um, which read, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. The people in the crowd bowed down to Jesus and made fun of him, saying that he saved so many other people, he healed so many other people, 
um, and he brought people back from the dead. So let's just see if he will save himself. If he's God, the promised Messiah, he will save himself. One of the thieves said to Jesus, if you really are the promised Christ, then save yourself and save us too so that we can all go free. The other thief was sorry for all the things that he had done. Um, and he said, God knows that we deserve to pay for what we did and we deserve to die. But Jesus has done nothing wrong. Jesus, he said, remember me when you come into the kingdom. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Today you will be with me in paradise. And today will be with me in paradise means today you will be with me in heaven. Um, so Jesus was going to heaven and he said, today you'll be with me in heaven as well. Jesus had forgiven the man and his heart was filled with peace and joy because he believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God, and he wanted to be with him in heaven that day. Jesus died on the cross to save everybody from their sins. If you ask Jesus to forgive you for everything that you have done, he promises that he will wipe away every one of your sins. The reason he can forgive you is because he died on the cross to take away everybody's sins. He was a perfect man. He never committed any sins. We sin every single day. There's nobody on this earth that doesn't sin at all every single day. The other two men who died on the cross were criminals. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. He was completely innocent. That day, one criminal um, admitted that Jesus was God and believed that he was sent by God um, to be the Messiah and the other didn't. And that day, the man who believed was with him in heaven and the other one wasn't. This Easter, when you're tucking into Easter eggs, I hope that you remember the reason why we get to celebrate Easter because Jesus died on the cross for you. Um, and maybe when you think of this story, you'll want to be the man who believed that Jesus was God and asked him to forgive him of all his sins and join him in heaven. We hope you've enjoyed the last couple of weeks. Um, we've really enjoyed putting these videos together for you. This is the last one. Um, and we hope to see you all very soon, hopefully in the, in the hall upstairs. Um, and if not, we'll see you here on our YouTube channel still uh, later on. Hope you have a great Easter and we'll see you all soon. Bye.